so it's me your little boy okay something good morning to all my amazing chosen one wherever you are watching me from so i have something special for us today you know sometimes many of us uh, encounter with either for um, uh, failure you know where many of us involved in uh, delay or you know maybe things are not going the way it look like you know don't mind me i'm just at work so maybe things are not going the way you expect it look like uh, you are not doing well or you start to feel less of yourself you start to feel like you are not you you are either you start to feel like you are cursed uh, why god will allow all these obstacles to come on your way but i have a good news for you as your brother as your loved one so i have a good news for you you are delayed, but you are not denied. You know, the Bible makes me to understand that despite of everything Joseph go through in life, he still do what accomplish his purpose. That's why you need to understand. Sometimes people will do it, will reject you because they don't know you. Why? Because sometimes many people who you thought that they will be there for you, that they will always be there for you, you will end up seeing them not being there. Some, you know, some people will, will do what will be, you know, will be around you when things are good, but you will suddenly see them, you know, uh, uh, drawing or drawing backward when things become hard why because most of time sometimes people come into our life for a season but they are not made for what for for permanent so if you involve with people who come into your life for a life for for a season don't just blame yourself it's not your fault that someone come into your life suddenly they do or they disappear it's not your fault that you encounter failure. It's not your fault that you maybe you are married and the marriage is not working well. And maybe you do what you are divorced. It's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? So all these things are what are not your fault. But God knows where it will do what. Oh, uh, is it? So the truth is this: God knows where it will do what it will surely lead you or lead you to. So that is why you should not do what bother. You know what I'm saying? That is why you should not bother who do what, who love you, or who is with you, because uh, a day will surely come where your obstacle. Will suddenly become what a blessing. <laughs> Kapo, where your what where your obstacles, your delay, where the disappointment will automatically do what turn to blessing. So it does not matter who disappoint you, it does not matter who reject you, it does not matter how many who abandoned you, it does not matter who they are, but the truth is this: everything have a season. You are not cursed. Yes, I know that it's hard. Sometimes when you encounter what failure, delay, disappointment. So all these things are what are blessing in return. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel bad. Maybe uh, things are not working perfectly the way you expect it. Or maybe you are being rejected. Maybe your family member, no one care about you. No one want to support you. No one want to assist you. That does not mean you are not doing well, or that does not count you as a failure. You know what I'm saying? That does not count you as a what? As a failure. The fact truth is, this. everything that you are going through is made for a purpose. There is a purpose for everything you do, what you pass through. So don't let the circumstances or the problem around you or the things that surround you do what break you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you may be rejected, but that does not mean you are rejected forever. People will abandon you, but that, but that does not mean you are what you are abandoned forever. Yes, because uh, it may not be all right today. It may not look the way you want it today. But the real truth is this: a day will come where your story will become what your glory. <laughs> yes, believe me, many of us encounter all this type of stuff and we start to feel, you know, feel guilty, feel bad. 
feel less of ourselves. We start to feel like, ah, we are the cause of our problem. We start to feel like, ah, we are the sources. We are, there's something that we have done. There's something that we have did. Ah, God, why? God, why? God, why? But the truth is this. Everything we are going through in life, there is a purpose for all. So, if people abandoned you, that does not mean you should do what you should abandon yourself. Because God has a purpose for everything. God knows the reason why it's happening right within. God knows the reason why all these things are what are automatically what occurring. You know what I'm saying? So, don't do it. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't do it. Don't surround yourself with what with sadness. Don't make yourself feel like you you are not doing or you are not in where you ought to be, because everything happen in a due season. Yes, some people will do what we surely leave you as I've said earlier. Some people will be around you when things are moving well. Some people will always stay with you when things are good are good. But the moment things become tough, they will leave you. So that is why you need to do what be courageous. Learn to do what to fight alone. Learn to be yourself. Because time will tell that many people whom you are thinking that they are with you, many of them will suddenly leave you when the benefit of being with you is no longer there. That is why you need to understand, you need to create that what that habit. Whether they are with you, they are not with you, you will still be able to do what you wished yourself to do. You know what I'm saying? So remember blessed, may God bless you.